Met Gala is the biggest night in fashion. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Monique. If you're new to my channel, I upload videos weekly about style and travel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you like to take the time and subscribe. Today's topic, we're going to talk about the Mad Gala and we're going to review the outfits that the celebs wore to the event. Unless you are living under a rock, you probably know what Mad Gala is. It happens every year on the first Monday in May. It is actually a night where they raise funds for the fashion department of the Metropolitan Museum. And Anna Winter is of course has been the head of the event for many many years. She was the one that made this event as big as it is now. And she is in charge of all the guest lists. So you cannot come to the Met Gala unless you are invited by Anna or approved by Anna, even if you are a plus one. It is happening here in New York City at the Metropolitan Museum. If you are visiting New York, I would definitely recommend visiting the museum. It is huge. And this year's theme is Karl Lagerfeld, a line in beauty. Karl just passed recently and this year's theme is of course in honor of his work. He's been working as a designer for more than 55 years, which is a very long career. And he has been a very successful, if not, the greatest designer of his time. Of course, there are a lot of controversies around the personality Karl Lagerfeld. This is not what we are focusing. We are focusing on his work, his designs for 55 years. Not only did he revive Chanel when he was appointed as the creative director in 1982, he has been designing for Fendi for a long time, longer than he's been designing for Chanel. He was also the designer for Chloe, and then also, of course, for his own brand, Karl Lagerfeld. But of course, everyone knows him for Chanel. Now Chanel is still one of the biggest fashion brands. A lot of people seem to wonder why they are honoring Karl, because not long ago, there was an exhibition in honor of the house of Chanel. But we must remember that Chanel is not the only fashion house that he has designed for even though it is highlighted a lot in Mad Gala, a lot of designers are honoring um, his designs at Chanel. And in honor of Carl, I am also wearing a Chanel jacket from Metia 2019, which is the last runway that Carl walked on. And of course, my Chanel necklace with the Chanel earrings and my Chanel ring. So everything Chanel except the top. Let's take a look at some of the looks from the Chanel archive. First, we have Penelope Cruz, which I must say looks stunning in this look from Spring Summer Haute Couture 1988. She looks phenomenal. I Anything with a hoodie, I'm all for it. I think she looks flawless, such a beauty. Love, love, love this look. The second one we have Dua Lipa. Like Penelope, Dua Lipa is also wearing a bridal gown from the Chanel archive. This one is from Fall Winter 1992 Haute Couture, which was first worn by Claudia Schiffer on the runway. And Dua Lipa mentioned that she has had her this dress on her mind for forever. It was lovely to see that she was able to live her childhood dream of wearing the dress that she has been imagining for so long. And she was also wearing more than 100 carat of diamonds from Tiffany. This is the newest Tiffany necklace with the biggest diamond. And it's more than 100 carat. It's just simply stunning. Love the makeup. She kept it simple. Pat McGrath was doing her makeup. I like the hair down. She looks phenomenal. She looks beautiful. But maybe she would have like added a hat or something that is from the runway. It would maybe complete the look but she looks flawless nonetheless third we have jenny kim and she is wearing a chanel boutique archive from 1990 fall winter line it is a beautiful dress but i think that she could have gone bigger she, she could have gone bigger 
for the night this is the matte gala this is something that you would wear when you go to one of the Chanel's fashion shows you know you could wear this but this is the matte gala and this is what her team decided for her to wear I mean she looks beautiful as usual but there was nothing really interesting in my opinion there was nothing really exceptional for the Met Gala I think amongst all of the celebrities that wore Chanel that night she was probably for me was a little bit meh and I think it was like her time to shine you know is she was I think the only Asian in the group that wears the Chanel archive and had access to the archive and this is what they chose so yeah she might need to fire her stylist i think she looks great but this is not mad gala look i'm thinking prom next we have margot robbie in chanel haute couture from fall winter 1993 and for once margot robbie is not pouting she is famous because she is one of the chanel ambassadors and she never looks happy on the red carpet because chanel makes her wear a lot of not really flattering or not really the most exciting dresses but that night she showed up smiling i think she looked great i think the dress looks beautiful on her it's very chanel we also have sofia coppola wearing the uh, couture spring summer 2001 i think it's a great look for her uh, it's not the most exciting in my opinion but yeah i think she looks great but maybe can be a little bit more interesting we also have kristen stewart in spring summer 2016 this is from paris cuba collection she's wearing one of the runway looks i think she looks great i think this is more of her character um because she was usually was forced to wear like a lot of like those mini skirts and rompers which probably not her true style at the moment so i'm happy that she probably got to choose what she wanted to wear for the event and she looks great Next, we have Naomi Campbell from Haute Couture Spring Summer 2010. And Naomi being Naomi, she always looks phenomenal and flawless with the beautiful long hair. I think the pink looks amazing on her. This is a beautiful dress. Reminds me of the Indian sari. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous color on Naomi. And she looks beautiful as always. And she was honoring Carl that night. She, was, she just looks beautiful. Naomi always gets it right. She is never wrong. Let's talk about the dress. The dress that Nicole Kidman wore walking the red carpet of Matt Gallo with her husband Keith Urban. She was wearing the dress that she wore for the Chanel number no. 5 campaign that was shot by Baz Luhrmann. It was shot in 2004. And this is almost 20 years later and she still looks phenomenal. She still has the amazing body and the dress looks wonderful on her. There was like a picture of like her on the staircase going up to the museum and she just looks beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's one of my most favorite dresses. Next we have Gisela Bunchen wearing a dress that was photographed by Carl for Harper's Bazaar. In 2007, I think the dress is beautiful. I mean, who doesn't like feather? Of course, Giselle looks amazing, but for me, it just likes a little bit of spice. For me, it's a beautiful dress, but that's it. Nothing more interesting. Um, I think the most memorable part of it is the fact that it's like feather, but other than that, it's just a beautiful white dress. Next, we have Lizzo wearing a custom Chanel dress inspired by a look from fall winter 1991 i think she looks great we saw a lot of black and white because of course carl is all about black and white so a lot of these dresses are in black or white and i think she looks amazing the pearls you know it's all very chanel the black and white she looks great the hair looks great makeup looks great i think lizzo looks amazing she also performed that night so it was a big night for her and of course, we have to talk about Anna Winter and being the chair of the event and the editor-in-chief at Vogue. A lot of times for Met Gala, Anna would wear uh, Chanel Haute Couture and this is another example. She was wearing Couture Spring Summer 2023, which was of course designed by Virginie. A wonderful, beautiful coat. Love it on the runway, but I think 
I really don't like the way Anna styled it with that long white dress. The the contrast between the A line of the coat and the uh, the very minimal line of the slip, the white silk slip dress is too stark. I don't like the combination of those two. Um, shapes for me for some reason she is the chair and she is the editor-in-chief of Vogue but a lot of times for the Met Gala she misses the mark and I think this year she misses it I don't like what she was wearing another one is Jennifer Lopez in Ralph Lauren it's a beautiful dress of course it's impeccable um, but again it's on the boring side I think she could do better love the hat the hat makes the look the hat is fabulous but the dress is meh carly claus and it was inspired by carl lagerfeld's first collection for chanel a dress that anna winter has worn a dress that is also featured in the exhibition um yeah i think it misses the mark it looks cheap when it's moving i saw it when she was walking in um it looks like a shein version of the dress the fabric looks a bit cheap the pearl necklaces just looks like they got it from shein or something let's talk about tom brown first of all the some of the designers were given kind of like a challenge of creating a creation of their own inspired by carl i think tom brown really won that challenge he is amazing and the looks that he brought to that event last night was insane first we have tiana taylor in the classic kind of like boucle very chanel fabric but then bam the cutouts on her body because her body was bodying it was just phenomenal and she looks amazing and i don't think anyone else other than tiana can rock that dress and she rocked it amazingly she even had like a little ponytail on the back in honor of carl's ponytail because carl always had a ponytail as well another look from tom brown is jenna ortega she looks phenomenal in the in a black dress it reminds me of a victorian witchiness it's such a beautiful dress i think she looks great janelle Monet was also wearing a design from tom brown Although it's not my favorite, but I can appreciate it that it is interesting. It has interesting silhouette and the oversizedness of it all, you know, considering Janelle Monet is actually a very petite person and wearing this huge, huge outfit and then the reveal underneath. So it was very interesting to see. An honorable mention for Tom Brown is also Sora Choi. Her dress was amazing she looks phenomenal this is a note for jenny kim this is how you do it this is how you rock the met gala she definitely nailed it she looks amazing so the house of carl lagerfeld also had a few guests first of all we have carla bruni which has been a muse for carl for forever she has been wearing uh creations of carl lagerfeld for like more than 30 years she looks amazing she was wearing an archival Karl Lagerfeld piece and I think she looks very elegant. We also have Alton Mason wearing a design by Han Kim for the House of Karl Lagerfeld and he was really inspired by the bridal look. You know the last look of the haute couture uh, runway is usually the bridal look so he was wearing all white inspired of the haute couture bride and I think he looks amazing. We also have Cara Delevingne, another muse for Carl, wearing a Carl Lagerfeld custom. She looks phenomenal. She looks great. And with the gloves to honor Carl, a lot of accessories that people wear in honor of Carl. Yeah, so it's she looks beautiful. The silver hair, like Carl's hair, it's a nod to Carl. And of course, Jared Leto, which came as Chopette which was not designed by the House of Carl Lagerfeld, but then he changed into this cape that was from Carl Lagerfeld fall, fall 2009. Runway, love the cape. I think it's a classic look, very Jared Leto. He looks great. Um, not sure if I'm into the whole Chappelle look, but I guess you gotta bring the drama sometimes and he brought it. Speaking of cat, we also have Doja Cat in Oscar de la Renta. She was wearing prosthetic and she looked like a cat. Uh, I think to embody Chopette, 
Also, her name is of course Doja Cat, so it's kind of it kind of goes with the whole theme. Uh, I think she looks great. The purse static is not like too much, but after that whole Swarovski red look from the Paris uh, fashion sh fashion week, I think it's a little bit much. I would love to see Doja Cat doing just like a normal look and not just like over the top, although she looked great. And it was on theme. Viola Davis can't do no wrong. She was wearing Valentino. And it was nice to see something colorful in the sea of black and white that night. She is the queen of red carpet. I think that color looks amazing on her. We also have to talk about Yara Shahidi in Jean-Paul Gaultier. She looked like she was wearing like jewelry on her body. I don't know if it's on theme, but she looks amazing. So I would give her a pass. Paris Hilton was also there uh, with Marc Jacobs and I can't believe that it was actually Paris Hilton's first night going to the Met, you know. Can you imagine like Kim Kardashian has been going to the Met for I don't know maybe four or five years and the, that was the first night for Paris Hilton and Marc Jacobs dressed her in all black because we know Paris as you know very Barbie kind of like always wearing pink and all those like pastel colors so it was nice to see her in something very different from what she would normally wear bad bunny in jacquemus the coat looks beautiful the back cut out looks amazing and then the boa of the camellia flowers very on theme but also still very jacquemus i love when designers do that they honor the theme they honor the celebrated designer but they also still infuse their own dna to it that you could see oh that is a jacquemus coat so the same thing is with my favorite look of the night which is from versace it was Anne hathaway wearing versace in a beautiful boucle uh, fabric that looks like a Chanel fabric with camellia all over but it was the safety pin Versace dress which is a very iconic dress from Versace you could just tell by looking that it is a Versace dress but it is kind of like a perfect marriage between Versace and Chanel because you have this beautiful fabric in white and the glove and the camellias so I think that was definitely perfect for the night Versace was representing Versace but also honoring Karl Lagerfeld for that night and it looks phenomenal and it is my best dress for the night in my opinion and Hathaway can't do no wrong and she was wearing beautiful Bulgari jewels of course she looks amazing she was number one for me and the big hair you know nothing it's it's just flawless there's nothing wrong with the look head to toe it's perfect it's my number one Pedro Pascal wearing Valentino. I love the shorts. I love the pop of red. It's very red Valentino. And I think he looks great. Everyone loves Pedro Pascal. He's like zaddy to everyone. So yeah, I think he looks amazing. Last but not least, I want to mention Rihanna, which was also wearing Maison Valentino. Um, with the whole camellia look. I think the look is great. It's a great look from Matt Gala. But it's not as good as the yellow dress or when or the one with the Pope hat that she was wearing for Heavenly Bodies. And also the fact that she was super late. I mean, I was watching live the Vogue uh, red carpet live. She was extremely late. Everyone was trying to wait for her. We know Rihanna is a huge star, but there's no excuse to be that late. Regardless whether the look was phenomenal or not, Mm, it's it's a no for me i think that was just rude to make everyone waited for her and people even gave up waiting like the vogue gave up they're like we're not waiting anymore the show is about to finish we're going in we're not waiting for her anymore so she was the last to show up of course she showed up with asap rocky which was wearing gucci it was inspired by a look that Karl Lagerfeld has rocked before. They were not matchy matchy, but they look amazing together. And I love the eyelashes on Rihanna's sunglasses. That is very her. I think that's all for my review for the Met Gala looks. Everything is just my opinion. 
Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is the best dress of the night. I would love to know your opinion. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!